All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome back to another episode of Pencil Puzzle. Today, we are playing another jigsaw with the X Constraint Sudoku on Simon Tatum's puzzle app. Yeah, I'm a glutton for punishment. So um, let's see how we do today. Watching it back in like post, though, when I was editing it, I did notice like there was loads of stuff I saw early on, which would have allowed me to resolve things a lot quicker. And I think that's like the beauty of when you're not in the puzzle solve. And you sit back and you're just like casually looking. You 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 tend you're not focusing on like a particular number, so you can like see the whole grid as a as a in a whole as like a, a much larger thing. So it's very easy to see things when you are not doing the solve yourself and you're just watching along. But hopefully, you know, we can improve on our observation skills and uh, we'll start to speed up um, these uh, puzzle solves. But without further ado, let's begin the timer. And already we can place a center digit, which is going to be seven. So straight away, we can uh, categorically say there is no seven on either of the diagonals. So let's uh, see how that helps us. And so we have a Possible threes. What do we need in here? One, one, six, nine, and five. Okay. Um, I don't think that really helps too much at the minute, does it? Uh, okay. So where are we going to go from here? <clears throat> okay, so two's got to go up here somewhere. Although we're not restricted too much by that at the moment. Trying to see something. Anything will do. It's from one of those three in that block. Okay, six actually. Six is a digit we can place here because this six stops anything on diagonals. It can't go there, and it also stops that and that by just seeing those two cells. So that's something that leaves us with a five, five, one, nine. So it's a one, nine. One five, one five nine. Okay. Six actually. Can we go there or there in this block? Can't go on the diagonal. This these cells here see this six here, and this one sees that one. So I only go there. We had a few more six we could have maybe ruled out on the diagonal, but we don't for now. But um. Baby steps. Let's see what else we can have here. Can't go there. Uh, can't go there. Oh, we've got three on the diagonal. It's fine. Pulls out three there. Pulls out threes here. Threes have got to go in one of these cells here in this block. Well, eights are restricted a little bit more in there. So no, an eight's got to go on the bottom. On the bottom, can't go there or there. Eight's there, there or there. Uh, 
Oh, I sorry. Sevens are actually limited to two places here because it can't go on any of the diagonals. You know what? Sevens might be a, a dark horse. Sevens are there and there. So that means sevens are there or there or there. And in this block, seven has to be there or there. Just trying to see like, if we could run somewhere with the sevens, knowing that seven can't go on diagonals anywhere. Seven, seven, seven. A seven though. That could also be a seven. Too many seven placements there, I think. As for here, well, pick your pick. This has to be a seven because it's the only seven on the top row because this seven this block already has a seven. Okay. And take out that seven there. Scan this row by row. Okay, so the sevens in this block here and this block here have to be there and there. So we can take out this these sevens here. It's in these these are this is basically an X wing. So if a seven is there, it has to go there, and seven is there, and then there. So that means you can actually eliminate all the sevens are left in that the rest of that row there which is quite handy. Indeed, so we've got sevens there or there. Uh, <laughs> so seven has to go here in, in one of these places in this block, which we already know. It's there, we've got sevens there, we've got sevens there. So seven can't go here. Seven has to go here or here. So that means seven is here or here. Seven has to go here or here because that's seven there. So we can remove this seven here. Gives us a placed seven there. That becomes an X-wing, which means that's a seven there. Okay, so the sevens have formed two X-wings, which is quite interesting. But that's definitely allowed us to um, eliminate quite a lot of candidates there. So that was a, a good little exercise indeed. Don't have to worry about the sevens too much at the minute. And bring our attention to other numbers for now, although I don't know what the next number to focus on is going to be. Breeze on this diagonal I'm going to sit in these three cells. That's an eight. What other numbers have we got? Two. Don't know anything about two. Well, two can't be there. Can't be a two or an eight. This then becomes a three. Three or a four. And... This becomes a eight and a four. This becomes an eight and a four. So that resolves as a three. This is then going to be our two. Okay. So that means a two has to place here or here because of the restriction here. Also going to have got twos on a diagonal, which means this or this is a two in here. So we can actually place two on that diagonal there. And 
Mm, what are the impacts of that two though? So if two goes here, where can we put a two in here? Place one here or here. Moving across. Go there. Can't go there because it's got it on diagonal. Can't go there. That's the only place for a two to go. Which means in turn, this is the only place for a two in this column. Let me just check that logic. Two sees that one. That sees that one. Twos have got to go there or there in this block. And we've already placed two there. So that's a two. That's a two. That's a seven. That's a seven. That's a seven. Okay. Like I'm making better progress on this puzzle at the minute. Than we did in our previous attempt. So, uh, what's next? I'm looking at fives, but we can't place a five in this block. So, we're looking at fives. Well, there's no point in placing a three here because a three can never go there because it has to go here or here. That's not a three. We've got a three ones, fours. All right, what other digits have we got here? One, five, and four. This is a one, five pair, so that resolves that as a four. Oh, that extra digit is in there. Ones we don't know enough about. Fives we don't know enough about. Six. Six has to go at the top. Eights. Uh, we've also got ones and fours. No, we've got ones and fours. Ones and fives. I'm really bad sometimes when it comes to like trying to identify like, the remaining digit in a cell. I really struggle. This can only be a one, five, or an eight. Can't be a six because we've already got a six in the block. And that's it. Yeah, like when I look at cells, I'm, I'm getting really good at mental maths from the killer Sudoku. But when it's like flipped on its head and I'm looking specifically for what digit is left in a group of nine, it's I just can't see it sometimes. It's probably the next thing I need to work on mentally. Who's twos, 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 twos. All right, so there should only be one place I can place two here. And that place is here. Okay, so twos are done. Sevens are all but done uh, placement-wise. Eights can't go there or there. Or can't go there or there or anywhere else. So there's only two places for an eight. Can we go there? Can't go there. Still go there. I was wondering if we could like rule out eights on the diagonal. That could be an eight as well, though. Okay. Where to next? Sixes. Six at the top, six on there. Sixes here. We 
because of these these two blocks on like left and right, because they're like spun down quite low, it's doesn't really restrict a great deal. Hold on though. Why did I okay, so the if these are the only two places for a six, and the six can't go there, there, or there. Okay, so we can maybe do something here. Sixes will have to go either here or here in this. Six can't go there. Restriction there, no. All right. Eight, six, three, five. Three can't go here, okay. That's three, six, so that becomes a five. Sixes and sevens, our other three digits are one, four, and eight. We have none of them. Hmm. Five. So I thought, there, I thought we might have been luck there with a restricted five here. In one or two places, but we don't know which at the moment. Then it could go three place on the row. So yeah, no, it's not. We don't know. We don't have enough of a restriction there. Eight has to go here though. It's the only place in this column that an eight can be placed. So we can take out our eight from here because this block will have an eight here, like it will have a six here. So this is an an eight pair, this is a three pair. Also, we can't have a five here. Six, three, four, nine. Three. Six, four, nine, four, one, nine, can't be a nine. Okay, so it's a one and four. <laughs> Scanning these diagonals again just to see if there's anything we can. Yeah. One, four, six, seven, our other digit is an eight. So I think this, does this see everything else? No, I haven't filled in this, this, I oh, know, so there's loads of digits left. Hmm. So anything like with playing and pencil marking differently to the way I would normally do. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, maybe not. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Ah, uh, okay, no. So I, I thought for a moment I could work out what this cell here was. Like whether or not maybe we should just candidate this out maybe it will help one four 
five, six, seven, and it didn't help. <laughs> I was filling out those thinking that maybe it would identify a single number or even a pair somewhere along here. We do know though that it has identified that an eight has got to go here or here. That's something which then will, so if an eight goes here or here, I think it does help. If an eight goes here or here, ruled out of these blocks here. So it's ruled out of this one, can't go here because of this one. So this actually resolves that as our four eight. Well, actually it did help. Yes, it did. Now. Where can we run with this now? Yeah, eights are here and here. Here and here. We could potentially, hold on, there might be more. Eights not there. I could be there. Eight there. Yeah, there or there. There are eights. Can't place an eight there. Can place an eight here. And here. Yeah, we still we still don't know enough about eights though in this um this unfortunately. Now, hold on, threes are interesting. Maybe we can maybe place a three. We know three's got to go here or here. Oh. Three could go there. I was thinking that if we know a three is here, then we know that this has got to be a three, but we don't. We just know three's got to be here or here. But three has to be here because a three can't be placed anywhere else. In this in this column. Okay, so three's there. Solve six three like that. So threes have got to be quite restricted here now, surely. Be there or there. Threes are here and here. Which, if I look across here, then they've got to be here and here as well. They're the only two rows that don't feature threes. And this is the only place now we can place a nine. Fours are here or here. Ones can be anywhere. Got hiccups now, sorry. Sixes and eights. One, four. Really help. But we do actually, it does help because we can, well. A little bit. We know an eight's got to sit here or here, so this can never be an eight. That means eights have got to come lower down, which can't be there. Could be there, there, or there. Eights are restricted to three locations. This cell cell in this cell really fill out this cell i think um ones can sit anywhere twos threes fours fives i've already got sixes are uh, limited to the top sevens are restricted like that then it's just eight switch there and there Eights can't go here or here. Let's see this eight here, something I missed. Ooh, 
ones are like that's that's a key number we need to get on this grid somewhere. We look down this diagonal though for like unique numbers, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've got eight nines. Ah, this is the only place a nine can go on diagonal, I think. Can't go there. Can't go there. Uh, okay, yeah, so nine goes here. On. So we've got sixes on here. Sixes can't be here or here or here. Got one. One four. So this is a one and four. This is a one and four. So on this diagonal, that's a one four pair. It means this is an eight. This is a five. This is an eight. That becomes a one six. It means our only digit left here is an eight, which means an eight can't go there or there, which this is an eight. This is an eight. This is an uh, 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 control Z. This is no longer an eight, which means this is our eight. Okay, that was good. This can't be an eight. That leaves a one four pair in this box. This is a six. Ones and fours. One, four, six. Can't be a six. That leaves a one, four there, which gives us a six and a one. No! I made a mistake. Hold on. One, six. No, I haven't made a mistake. We'll carry on. Yes, I have made a mistake. Ah! All right, where's this mistake? Try and um, if I can't spot the mistake. Okay, I think this might be our mistake. I didn't pencil mark correctly. This cell here. This cell here. Have the eight here. Ones and fours. Ones and s so that would still be a six. But here it's not one and four, is it? Take out the six here. That would be a one. That would be a four. That would be a five. That becomes a one, four, seven. That becomes a six. That becomes a seven. It's it's the, the curse of the pencil marks again, I'm afraid. I really need to get a better handle on pencil marking, especially when I'm using Simon Tatum's puzzle app. Um, Nines, ones. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's something about this particular puzzle app, and I think I've briefly discussed this with Hugo. It's like I'm used to pencil marks disappearing when it's not a possible um, option for the cell. So I really need to sort of get pay more attention to that. I think um, when I'm using this puzzle app because I think it's causing me to not remove pencil marks, and I'm not thoroughly checking what I need to check, which is um, then obviously catching me out later on in the solve. Um, ones and nines here though. Hopefully everything though still holds up. No mistakes as of yet. Number left here is a four. Ones 
Almost there. Threes and ones. Threes and sixes. Well, I've done all the sixes, but I guess not. Um, what we got left here? One, four, and can't see again. One, four. Oh, it's one, four, three. Oh, that's a one. That's a three. That's a one. One, four, six, and our last digit here becomes a. Stop looking at the timer. Knock <laughs> five. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, th I think I know what my mistakes are. It's a combination of the pencil numbers not being removed, and because I'm not following my traditional like pencil marking routines and I've got like pencils in various positions trying to work stuff out. Um, I think I'm being caught out by that. So I really do need to like be more vigilant when it comes to pencil marks and penciling in what remaining candidates there are in cells. But um, yeah, I mean, in, on the scheme of things, though, I don't know if this was an easier puzzle Granted, we had the seven in the middle straight away, but I still think it was quite difficult. But we did like manage to solve this about 10 minutes quicker than the last one that we played. So, yeah, really happy about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And once again, like, I do apologize for not taking time. I am trying to like slow things down and take my time. But as I kind of said, I've said before, like when you're on like, a bit of momentum and you're on a run, you just hammering in those cells and you, I, I tend not to play too pay much too much attention pencil marks because i want to stay on that track of like actually identifying the, the the value of the cells but yeah learning curve for me hope you uh guys don't mind but do let me know in the comments what you think until next time guys thank you very much for watching do appreciate the support and until next time i'll be not keeping awesome take care stay safe happy gaming